Alright, so today what we're going to do is we're going to create this uh, 3D letter image of uh, Spawn here. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to create a new artboard. I'm going to go ahead and uh, do this in the portrait position. Okay, so the uh, first thing I'll go ahead and do is I'm going to spell out the name Spawn in capital letters. And I'm going to choose... Um, a nice bold sans serif font, so maybe something like Arial Black would be great for this particular project. Okay, so I'm going to switch to my selection tool. I'm going to go to the top where it says Type, and I'm going to choose the option to Create Outlines. Okay, so what that's going to do is essentially it's going to turn it into a shape here. So I'll set this so uh, about here. Okay, then what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to select this. I'm going to make a copy of it. So hit Control C to copy it. Then I'm going to lock this layer create two brand new layers and then on layer three I'm going to paste it by hitting control V okay so on layer three I'm going to increase the size and as I increase the size I'm going to be sure uh, to not warp the dimensions so if you scale the sky size um, make sure you hold shift as to not mess that up okay and I might even make this just a little bit bigger and again and scaling the size, make sure you hold shift S to not warp the dimensions. Okay, so now that I've got both those uh, words sized the way I want them, I'm going to go ahead and lock layer 3. I'm going to lock layer 1. I'm going to go to layer 2. And on layer 2, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create uh, this three-dimensional look for my letters. So I'm going to maybe start uh, by keeping my, my outline black, and I'm going to keep my fill empty. Well, I'll add some color to it later, but for now I'm going to go ahead and keep it empty. So now what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to create uh, a one point perspective look. So I'm going to use the two varying sizes of my letters here and then I'm going to uh, connect them to the letters underneath here to create a one point perspective look to them. So when you're working on this you probably want to start um, from the top and work your way down to the bottom of each letter as you're creating this perspective. And I'm going to kind of curve the shape to match the shape of my S here along the bottom. So if you hold the pen tool while you curve it um, you can kind of round out that shape. I'll probably have to come back later and adjust that to make it look more like what I need it to look like. But for now, that's probably good. Okay, so I'm gonna have a slight little angle here. I'll go ahead and close that in. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and throw the color in there just so we can see what that's gonna look like. Uh, then I'll go ahead and move on to my Lex letter. And I'm gonna maybe start from the inside here. Bring that down to there and up. And then I'm gonna come out to the widest part of my P, bring it down to this P, and I'll curve around the bottom. So just click and hold so that you can curve the line. Bring that up to the corner of the P here. Close that in, come to the corner, come down to this other P, and we're just connecting these letters together. So the smaller one will be the back size, the larger one. Of course, is what we see in the front. Okay, so um, I'm gonna do the A last. This is kind of more in the middle. So I'm going to just go all the way out to my N, and then I'm going to work my way back from there. Um, the reason for that is this A is going to cover up a part of that, so I don't want it to uh, to get in the way of anything. Okay, so I'll bring this down from the bottom of the N to the bottom of that N. Close on this side. Go to the corner here. Okay, and I'll go ahead and come to the A here. Okay, so next thing I'll go ahead and do is maybe just kind of clean up some of the edges on these shapes, make them look nicer and neater. Okay, so I'm going to maybe decrease the size of the stroke around this to like 0.5. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to put a gradient on these letters. So I'll go ahead and just select them all. And uh, I'll open up this gradient tool. We're going to throw some red in here, and I'm going to go ahead and switch this to a 90 degree angle. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to bring in this picture that I was using for the background and for the letters. So, um, let's go ahead and pull that up and into here. 
Okay, so I'm gonna try to line this up to uh, get this the best fit inside because I'm gonna have the image appearing inside of the letters here. Uh, next thing I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna select this image and I'm gonna come up to the top where I have this image trace option and I'm gonna choose the six color option. All right, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a copy of this. So I'll hit Control C and I'm gonna bring this copy I'm going to go ahead and remove it from this layer. I'm going to bring it first to the bottom layer. So I hit Control V. I'll slide that down. Okay, so now I'm going to lock this layer. Now I'm going to go to layer 3 and I'm going to hit Control F to put it back where I had it originally. Then we're going to arrange this to the back of layer 3. Then I'm going to hit Control F uh, four more times. One, two, three, four. Okay, now what I'm going to go ahead and do. So I'm going to select my letters. I'm going to go ahead and ungroup them. Grab this S, hold shift, grab the picture behind it. And then I'm going to go under object to clipping mask and make. And I'm going to do this with each letter. So I'll grab the P, hold shift, collect the image underneath, go to clipping mask, make. Go to the next letter, hold shift to select the picture behind it. Go to object, down to clipping mask, make. Select the W, hold shift to select the picture behind it. Go object, clipping mask, make. Grab the N, hold shift to grab the picture underneath, go object, clipping mask, and make. And then what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to put a stroke around those letters. So I'll just put a black stroke around the edge there. And there we have it.